Hey guys, happy Monday. Hope everybody is doing well out there. Uh, today I wanna to take a look at a Docker container uh, that uh, was kind of brought up when I was searching through Reddit over the weekend. Somebody said that they were having a hard time getting open project installed in their Docker setup. So I thought I would just take a couple of minutes to go through the process of installing uh, open project in Docker. Now, if you're not familiar, open project is a project management software uh, that's actually pretty involved. It's pretty in depth. Uh, it's a great tool to use for project management. And uh, kind of to go along with that, it's because it's so in depth and so involved and so robust, uh, the only thing we're gonna cover in this video is how to install it. There are just too many what ifs and how abouts and what abouts to cover in a single video when it comes to a project management software like this. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at Open Project. I have not tested this on a Raspberry Pi. I haven't had the chance to do that. So if you guys wanna check it out, let me know in the comment section down below. If you got this to work on a Raspberry Pi, that would be amazing. So here is the homepage for Open Project. And uh, this is gonna be a great resource of information. Uh, if you want more information about the project or, or, or sorry, about the software or whatever the case may be, uh, definitely check out this website. I will, have it try, I will try to have it linked in the description down below. Uh, but if we come over to here, uh, here we can see how to install Open Project with Docker. Um, and there's just a lot of command line stuff in here. Um, and that's not super great for a lot of people. Uh, I know that the, the command line stuff is kind of intimidating to a lot of people. So what I've done is I've actually gone ahead and rewritten that uh, in a stack. So we can deploy it via a stack versus doing it through command line. Now, there is one area where, where I would suggest you use a command line, uh, but we'll get to that in just a moment. It's not necessary, uh, but it's definitely something that I would encourage you to look into. So here we are uh, in our stack here. We're using version two, open project. Uh, we're gonna use community version number 11. Uh, the container name will be open project. Uh, ports by default, uh, I believe it was on 8080. Uh, yep, but we're gonna change that to something else because there's a lot of stuff that tries to run on 8080 unless you change it. So I'm gonna change it. Uh, PUID, PGID, those weren't in there, but it uh, can't hurt anything, right? So below that, we've got a, a secret key base. Uh, this we will want to change. This is that, that command line thing that I was talking about a moment ago, but we'll get to that in just a moment as well. Um, and then uh, we've got a couple of volumes here, one for configuration, one for assets. Uh, you can kind of map those wherever you'd like to store those on your server, but here's where I'm going to store mine. And then below that, we've got a uh, restart unless stopped. You could change that to always if you wanted. I think unless st uh, stopped should be just fine here. So uh, it's basically the secret key base. That's gonna be for encryption, I believe. Um, let's see if it actually says anything here. Okay, so it doesn't look like it actually says what the secret is for. Um, so I guess I can't tell you that. Uh, I just know that you can leave it as secret, uh, you know, like it's, uh, well, like, it, like it's written uh, right here. You can do that, that's probably fine. Though probably not terribly secure if that's what it's for. Uh, but what we will wanna do uh, in that case, and I will have this available in the link or as a link in the description down below as well. Um, if we come over here, um, oops, that was me doing some cleanup a moment ago. We're just gonna run this right there. It generated uh, a security key for us or just a random string of characters. So we're gonna use that. I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that in there. And then basically what we'll do is we'll just copy this. Again, all of this will be available in the link in the description down below. Man, I'm having a morning. So let's come over to here, let's go to stacks. Let's add a new stack and just paste this in here. Uh, I'm gonna copy that over for the name. And basically at this point, we should be good to go. Uh, all of this looks good. Oh, except that we wanna change this. I'm just gonna change it to 7070. I know that I don't have anything on 7070. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run it on that. Now I've already downloaded the image for this. In fact, if I come over here uh, and scroll down, we can see open project is right there, it's unused. That's the image I'm using. I've already downloaded it, so this part's gonna go pretty quickly. Uh, you have to go through the process of downloading everything first, uh, but that's just why I've already downloaded it. So when I click uh, deploy the stack, this should go pretty quickly. There we go. So I'm gonna go to containers. Right there's open project. I'm gonna open this up. And now this part is going to sit here for a while. It's gotta go through a bunch of stuff uh, to do the initial setup for everything. Uh, so basically at this point, uh, we can just kind of hang out, um, you know, maybe grab a cup of coffee, 
uh, go go do an errand, uh, whatever the case may be. This will take a while. So uh, when it's done, we'll come back and take a look. Okay, so now that this is done, I've actually was doing some testing in another window to make sure it was up and running. Uh, it looks like we're good to go. So what we'll do next is come over here to Portainer. We'll go to our containers here. Right there, open project is at the top, it says it's running. So what we'll do is we'll just click right there. And here is the home page. And uh, even this, I feel, is a bit overwhelming. Uh, we're not even logged in yet. And this is our home page. So if we want to get logged in, I believe if we come over to here, uh, somewhere, there it is, log, log in is admin, admin. So uh, what we can do is come up here to the top right, type in admin, and admin. And then of course it wants us to uh, change that password to something a bit more secure. Like so, now it wants me to select my language, which for me will be English. And now it's gonna kind of go through this introduction uh, thing that I really dig actually. Um, so it's a three minute introduction. Um, I'm just gonna kind of click through it so you can get an idea, um, but do, 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 maybe I'm not, uh, close that maybe. Yeah, so anyway, you can go through that if you'd like. Uh, but here we are, we've got a couple of demo projects in here. Uh, it looks like there's a couple of different ways to get to those. They talk about some new features, latest news, account, if you wanna change your profile, your page, uh, your password, uh, if you wanna add new users, uh, shortcuts to uh, resources for the open project community. Uh, administration uh, is down here. I uh, wonder, yeah, it's also up here if you wanna to get to that. And then if you wanted to, you could upgrade to the enterprise edition. So that pretty much covers everything with regards to getting open project installed. So I have not tested this on a Raspberry Pi. I haven't had the chance to do that. So if you guys wanna check it out, let me know in the comment section down below. If you got this to work on a Raspberry Pi, that would be amazing. But I think that kind of covers everything that I wanted to cover in this video. So I wanna give a big shout out before I wrap things up to my patrons and my channel members. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting me uh, for the, the amount of time that you have. I really do appreciate that. Really does help me out quite a bit. So I think with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support, and I'll talk to you in the next video.